very simple, sleek design, as you see there. Um, it should also work with the Raspberry Pi 3B regular, the Asus Tinkerboard, and the new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It should work for all three, and it's around $10. So a case with a fan for 10 bucks, nice and compact. That sounds like a deal to me. iUniker makes a lot of great Raspberry Pi enclosures, so this should be a good one. First off, you have a nice vent and wall mounts. Let's see if they give you any rubbers for the feet. You do have a couple labels here. You got Ethernet, USB. This top, I like the perforated top as well. It's a nice little touch. Let's look at these assembly instructions. Make sure we don't break it. Okay, so this should just come right off. Okay, there it goes. The top piece came off. Oh, you do get little rubber feet. You get screws for the fan. You even get a copper heat sink for your uh, for your RAM as well. And then two good size two good size heat sinks for the processor and the um, Ethernet pieces. And then this third piece. And let's go ahead and mount the fan. And then uh, the rubber feet. We can go ahead and put those on. All right, that's on there. And uh, let's do test fit number one, Pi 3. Pi 3, not B plus, perfect fit. All right, next, Pi 3, B plus. So far, so good. Yep. That works as well. You still get access to all that. All right, and then Tinkerboard. All right, Asus Tinkerboard. No, heat sink. Heat sink is a little too big there. Everything, I bet actually if you just cut it, actually what you could do is you could just cut, cut that out and it would fit on there just fine. You still get the display port, still get the camera port. The All the outputs would still work. So Tinkerboard, potentially. All right, now we're gonna run a, um, a thread test. We're gonna go ahead and max out the CPU here. You can see I ran some temps above, uh, so you can see what temp it's at. And now the fan right now is exhausting. The fan air is going out of the case. So doing a test with that, there you go. We just ran the test, and now I'm gonna run the temps. I'm, um, I'm basically pressing spacebar, enter, you know, every couple of seconds. So you can kind of see how fast it cools off. I do have the um, the heat sink that came with this kit on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. So this is with a heat sink, with the fan, at the five volt uh, rating for the fan, and it's exhausting right now. So the fan, the fan air is blowing out of the case. Uh, in just a second here, we're gonna reboot the Pi, we're gonna remount the fan, and this time we're gonna have the same heat sink, same Raspberry Pi, but we're gonna have the fan shooting on to the Pi itself. So this is the end of that one and how fast it cooled off. We rebooted the Pi, let it cool down. As you can see, I got it back down to a lower temp. And then we're gonna run the, uh, the same test where we max out all of the CPU, same test. So right now I'm just bench testing the temperatures. We run the tests and then right when the test is done, we're gonna start reading those temps again so there you go. And uh, you can see it's it's not that big of a difference. Um, I think it cooled down a little quicker with the fan facing the, uh, the CPU uh, on the board itself. Um, so there you go. iUnicore, great case. Got to give it a thumbs up for 10 bucks. I, don't, I really like the look. I like that it's perforated and there's a lot of cooling potential. It's also compact. I like kind of the matte finish. It's not glossy like the stock cases are. So aesthetically awesome. Uh, cooling wise, it's definitely uh, above average. Not the best, but really good. And then the price is right as well. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.